Hi. We're back with another exciting edition of the Microsoft IoT in Action webinar series. My name is Soren Lau. I am the general manager of the IoT device experience team in EMEA. Thank you for joining us today. We continue to offer this series to support both our existing and our new partners to learn how to build scalable and secure IoT solutions for the Intelligent Edge and the Intelligent Cloud. Today's webinar is focused on the retail sector. You're going to hear how you can transform your products and the way they're produced to reduce downtime, save energy, and increase revenue using Internet of Things. Today, we're joined by Eugenia Ostrovskaya, a business development director at Genetech, a leading solutions partner working on some cutting edge IoT solutions in and for the retail space. So let's get started. So the IoT market in global retail will value $36 billion by the year 2020. While there is opportunity, it's important to understand the market forces and customer challenges that the retail industry is facing today. We're seeing three key trends. The first trend is that 90% of sales continue to take place in store. However, stores are churning. And there are three important reasons for that. Stores are getting smaller and customers want more convenience and they also want more unique shopping experiences. The second trend is the customer expectations of the in-store experience is changing as well. Lastly, the challenges around store profitability. In other words, how can certain processes be automated to free up associates time to servicing customers? Our retail team is focused on how to support retail industry transformation, identifying customer needs, and defining priority solutions that address exactly those key needs. Much of our focus is on the partner ecosystem that develops solutions that meet the specific demands of retail and consumer goods companies. This also resonates with the trend reflected in a recent IDC study indicating that by 2020, 32% of innovation efforts will be based on partner ecosystem solutions. We often get asked questions like, how is Microsoft seeing IoT reshape the way that retailers start engaging with customers? Well, firstly, we see a democratization of technology. We also see that although IoT projects were complex, this complexity has now been significantly reduced, allowing customers to see business value almost immediately. And the third change is that the ecosystem is now fully evolved. And this is also reflected in our engagement with customers. And we have more than 170 new IoT customers per month. So when engaging with partners who are building solutions for retail customers, we often get several common questions about the way that they can really derive value from IoT. Apart from supply chain, the focus is on two areas of the store. The first area is to deliver a real customer experience based on a deep understanding of the individual customer. The second area is retail execution based on decision and task automation. So what does IoT excellence really look like in the retail industry? Primarily, you should focus on the IoT-enabled customer experience, which consists of observed customer preferences, store space design, to reduce the customer navigation time and personalization where you help the customers find and choose better. Ultimately, making the experience inspirational for the individual customer. You should also prioritize IoT-enabled retail execution, which drives inventory visibility, enables smart buildings with predictive energy management and equipment maintenance, as well as security. So now, to best help us deep dive into these specific areas, I have the pleasure of introducing Eve from Genetech, one of our key IoT partners. Eve is the business development director responsible for retail and banking at Genetech in Europe. Her responsibilities include business development, sales, channel, and alliances. And with years of experience in IP security and video analysis, she identifies and creates customer solutions for her clients. So welcome Eve. Thank you, Soren. Very happy to be here. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about Genetech? Yes, of course. Uh, Genetech is a IP security platform provider. We have various functionalities and 27 product lines with features of uh, physical security, access control, license plate recognition, and so on. As the company, we're focusing on understanding operations of end users and tailoring the solution specifically for their needs. Nowadays, it seems like you can't have a conversation about IoT without hearing words like disruption or digital transformation. So from your perspective, how do you see that as a driver or a leading indicator of the products that, and services that you bring to market? 
So what we see in retail industry right now, that there are various systems resolving various tasks. Some of the systems are recording video uh, management. Some of the systems are analyzing the video and creating the alarms. In others, uh, uh, tracking the shopper and so on. We see that if you don't combine all of the system and utilizing them together, you're really underutilizing our technology. As you can see on this slide, how we imagine retail uh, environment. First of all, it's video management. Video management can be organized two ways. One is the cloud video management and on-premise. We're still very much on-premise uh, industry in retail. Combining them together, we can see the flawless security operation monitoring it from one monitoring center. Let's say instead of one camera, two cameras, now operator can see 100, 200 cameras. So uh, when we uh, build up this video management basis, cloud-based or on-premise, we want to add some video analytics. It can be video analytics responsible for camera health monitoring, that camera is not redirected or not under some vandalism attack. Also, we can add security scenarios such as fight detector or somebody has left his uh, pieces at the store, for example. On top of it, we want to add anything which will be relevant for retailer. It can be a point of sale, transaction integration. It can be integration of audio analytics if a car alarm is generating the noise or so on. As a result, we see that the trends for our customers are three. To move forward the centralized operations, everything under one umbrella, that a clear focus on collaboration, that you utilize your technology not only in security department, but also in marketing operations, mm -hmm. adding anything which can be relevant to any stakeholder of the company, and leveraging data to solve problem and provide insights of the customer. Thank you, that's great. It really sounds like you're helping your customers realize business value very fast uh, through those solutions. And actually, with GDPR being top of mind for everyone, with your experience, what are the true impacts uh, for a retailer if they are not compliant? We all heard about GDPR by now. We know it can end up with a huge fines, but you really need to get out of your way to get there. So, but for retailers, we see that the breaches in the privacy can uh, affect more important things uh, than the fine, the reputation. And this is why we put it on top of the list. Also, you need to keep in mind geographical risk. No matter where you monitor your customers, is it in the United States or in Australia, if you're monitoring European citizens, you are subject to comply with GDPR. So what is this personal data captured by security system? First of all, it's video images. Second, which is most important is video evidence. I've seen retailers who completely forgot about video evidence and what is actually recorded and shared with third parties. Then we need to talk about loyalty cardholder information, access control cardholder information, point of sale data, license plate recognition, any biometrics which you have within your store. All of it needs to be auditable and then uh, put in place and compliant with GDPR. Thanks, Eve. That's great. Uh, so can you show us some of the tools that you've developed uh, to help your customers be GDPR compliant? Yes, of course. I wanted to address a couple of articles. First is Article 25. It's data protection by design and by default. What does it actually mean? First of all, you need to choose the solutions which are future-proof and which have the solution built in inside. Uh, in our case, we have a solution called privacy protection. This is the only solution which has European Privacy Seal certification. This is a German certification, and it's also patented throughout Europe. So let me show you how it works. We have two video streams. One video stream is original, it can be analyzed, it's recorded, it can be used when something goes wrong. Second video stream is completely pixelated. You don't have any personal information, and you can share this video between your departments or with third parties. When something goes wrong, we can escalate the situation and people who have a specific access can access the original video stream with different authentication rules. For example, 4i principle, when we have also a card and a chip code and the password involved. So now you can see that we get an access to original video stream. Thank you, that's a great example of real-time video. Uh, but how about video that is already recorded? 
This is a great question, because another article, which is Article 15, addresses exactly that issue, right of access by data subject. What does it actually mean? That means that you, me, as the customer, we can come to any retailer, well, to any end user who has video survival and say, I want to see my video footage and I want you to actually delete it. And uh, end user needs to be prepared to that. What does it mean in practice? That means that he needs to prepare the video clip, then record it to the CD or USB to hand it to the customer, but to make sure that he is not affecting rights and freedoms of others. Meaning that if there is five people within the video, four of them needs to be blurred and only you unblurred. Here I wanted to show you an example of our cloud-based solution, which is built on the Azure platform, where we resolve specifically this task. Responding to video requests or working on investigations requires collaboration between multiple stakeholders. Before you can share your security video, you'll have to redact it to conceal people's identity and other sensitive information. This process can be time-consuming and expensive, but with Genetech clearance, you can quickly redact video in-house. After uploading your clip, access the built-in video editor to start the redaction process. Faces will be detected throughout the video. It's up to you to select which faces will be automatically redacted, and you can even create additional masks to conceal other parts of the video. Once your video is created, you'll be able to review it before adding it to a case. From the case, you can invite both internal and external users to view your new video. Users will receive an email invitation and will only have access to the information that you've shared. All data in Genetech clearance is encrypted, and all user actions are tracked to ensure that your information is secure. Responding to video requests where video must be redacted would normally take hours to complete, even for shorter clips. But with Genetech clearance, you can protect people's privacy and collaborate with ease. So this is a solution called clearance. And let's forget about GDPR for a second. We have a customer who just saved on the shipping of the CDs from the evidence approximately 150,000 euros per year, just replacing it with clearance. One simple link and the job is done. Thank you, Eve. Those are great examples in the security space. So Genetech being a Canadian company, but having a global operation, and we have a, a global uh, audience here, how do uh, partners and customers get in contact with you? Being a 1,300 people uh, company, we have a global reach and representation in every region. We work also through our certified uh, channel. So in every region you can find our personal sales force, support force, and also the support of our channel. So I think the main will be to have a seat and understand what are the tasks you want to resolve, how we can tailor the solution and make sure that we get value for your business insights. On this slide, you can see some useful links where to find the more information about our solutions. And thank you for having me here today. So thanks, Eve. This is really helpful information and great to see how Genetech is helping retailers accelerate their digital transformation using IoT. And we're very excited about the opportunity ahead with Genetech so that we can continue to help our customers and partners. Thank you, Eve. So we got to see the Genetech IoT solution in action. Please reach out to them directly to understand how you can use your existing security camera infrastructure to transform the customer experience.